There are a number of different pens available for calligraphy and for writing the letter forms like these, you need pens that have a broad edge as these do because this broad edge creates the characteristic thicks and thins as you move the pen over the paper. One of the cheapest and often the most easily accessible is the felt tip pen, which you can see here has quite a broad edge nib. This pen avoids the problems of ink supply, spillages with ink bottles, and it's easy to practice and do roughs with a felt tip pen. But because the very edge, the very tip, of a felt tip pen is thick-ish, you won't get these wonderful fine lines that you do with a nib, such as a metal nib, of other pens. A calligraphy fountain pen also avoids the problems of ink supply and ink spillage, and you can make reasonable letter forms with it, but because the nib is often quite rigid, it doesn't have the flexibility of calligraphy dip pens. As well as this, the ink that you need to feed into a fountain pen is quite thin, and so you see the guidelines beneath the ink, and the metal that's used is quite rigid. I suppose the cheapest pen of all is a feather that you can pick up in bird sanctuaries or where there are lakes but it does need some skill and careful instructions to cut a quill from a feather. This actually is a swan's feather. And for that, you'll need my DVD on illumination. What most people use are these. These are broad edge nibs, which are supplied both in sets of 10 and the width extends from a size naught to a size naught, five, sorry, size six, Nought one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, five, six, with reservoirs that slide on underneath. You can buy them either in sets like this or you can buy nibs singly. And if you're just starting out, I would recommend either a size naught or a size one, because as I've said before, it's much better to start your lettering when you have a wide nib so that you can see your letter forms more clearly. These nibs be, need to be pushed into a pen holder, and I've got three here. One which has a cork grip, which is really very comfortable to use. This one which has a triangular holder, which many people find comfortable to use. And this one which is not available in the shops because this is um, a whole box of pens that I saved me being thrown out from school I was teaching in many years ago. And because my hands are quite small and I like to use a quill, I do like a narrow pen holder. But as I say, that's unlikely to be available now. So choose a pen holder that is most comfortable for you and your size of hand.